Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Stefania. And Tanita. From Why Not Sisters. Today we're going to be showing a surprise, but we're not going to tell you. So, watch the whole video to see what the surprise is. There is two, right? Two yes. surprises? Yeah, there are two surprises, and let's see what they Okay, are. so this is our first surprise. Yeah, our first surprise is our pet fishes. They are very nice. So we have six of them. Four of them are black mollies, and one of them is a zebra. And the yeah. other one is it's like just a white fish or something. I think it's a coin fish. Wait, I'm shaking the camera. Ooh. And we have a lot of toys, like not toys exactly, but we have a lot of places for them to play in. Yeah, something fell off, and it caught on that. Well, uh, it doesn't matter because it's part of the fish tank anyway. So. Um, we're gonna like to give some tips on how to take care. Okay, of so when taking care of a fish tank, first, uh, for the fishes, imp importantly, you have to feed it twice a day, every single day, twice a day. I recommend putting the food, um, in the morning, uh, when it's nine a.m. and then in the night when it's evening, when it's seven p.m. because that's when they're most hungry, and when they're like mostly tired and then they'll get energized after eating we'll show you what you um what you need to do well not show you but tell you so tanita what do you have to do to clean the tank what you have to do is you just put the fishes in a big bowl yeah so uh, because yeah. so take a different bowl and uh, catch all the fishes with a um, net wait let me just show you uh um, let me take it out. Look at the fishes. You're supposed to catch them with the fish net. So this is the fish net we have. It's, it has a nice handle at the back so we can keep it out of the water. So just basically take the fishes out, put it in here, and then quickly transfer it into another bowl of water. Yeah, at the, and then uh, put something hard over the bowl, then they won't jump out. Yeah, so carpet. for example, you can put like a cardboard piece like a piece of cardboard the big one that fits the top of the bowl keep it on top so that no fishes jump out and like they don't die <laughs> <laughs> and also when you're cleaning the tank you have to take out all of these tiny uh, big tiny and big objects you have to clean them deep clean them and also you have to clean uh, the rocks if you possibly can cuz there might be some dirt from um not dirt exactly, like poop from the fishes uh, that might be uh, inside. So you have to clean that up. And when you and also, um, if you have a fish tank, you have to have like that kind of thing. Wait, I think you can see it. Oh my gosh, the top's messy. Um, well, that is for filtering the water. And you can get these at your nearby pet stores. And this is the temperature checker to make sure everything's right. And there's a thermometer thing over there. Yeah, so basically when we got the fishes, um, you have to ask the people there uh, if the fishes are okay, like if black mollies are capable with zebra fish. So, you know, some eat, uh, some fishes eat each other, like for goldfishes. Uh, you're not supposed to put any other fish inside except goldfish, so be very cautious about that. Ask your pet store, um, like, a staff of the people. Over okay, there. so um, the next thing that we, that we wanted to show you was the fish food that we feed them. And this is the fish food. We feed them flakes, and they're, like, colorful flakes. You can see on the bottom, that's just the picture. And these are for all kinds of fish. Just check to see what kind of fish that um, you have, and then you can give this to them, or ask your pet store staff to see what's fitable for them. Okay, inside here, um, they're all pretty active because we've had them for a long time. And when you guys are choosing your first um, fishes, I recommend you guys choose probably guppies because they're easy to take care of, and they're really cute. Or you can take a uh, goldfish if you guys want, but that's going to take up a lot of space. We got a big fish tank right here, and this is for a lot of fish. Okay, so now I'm going to be showing you um, how they eat their food. So I'm going to be taking this. I'm just going to add a pinch. Um, you can add two pinches when you're adding its daily food. Uh, let me just open this up. 
Okay, so I've opened this up now. This is how it looks on the inside. Pretty nice. I like the colors. Um, so now, when you open it, just press on this dent. Open it. Of course, that's easy to know. I'm just going to keep that on top. And take about this much, crumble it up. And then, oh no, keep it inside. Hi. Okay. Okay. And take that down so it doesn't fall. So you see the black mollies are really hungry now. They're eating their food, fish food. And I've just added a pinch. It's like a tiny snack to show you guys. And I guess those fish aren't hungry at the moment. And you guys, when you have a fish tank, you have to buy a lot of stuff for the inside so that it has some hiding spots and some places where it can stay alone. And the brand uh, that we got for this fish tank was Top Fin. I recommend Top Fin. It's really nice. It's a good quality too. And it comes with a light. So you can see up there, there's a light. Yeah. Since we've shown you the first surprise, which was the fishes, that was the basic care of them, of how you have to take care of fishes. I, can, I think you can hear the sound in the background. But um, the next surprise is coming up soon. Just wait, okay? Okay, so this is our second surprise, right, Tanita? Yep. Well, we have two parakeets. We actually got this a few days ago. And, um, why don't you tell the names, Tanita? The names, okay, the green one, um... That's is, pacing around at the top. Yeah, is Bella. Mm -hmm. And the blue one, it, uh, na the blue uh, name one is Cookie. So, that's Cookie, that looks like a pigeon, and that's Bella. And they both can kind of fly, in it. and we've only had them for a week, and we got their wings clipped. And we, you see we have a lot of stuff for them here. So we have this tiny rope, and we have a swing, we have a ladder, we have a tiny bath, and we have a cuddle bone. We'll tell you what each thing is later, but uh, this is the seeds, what they eat, and this is their water. And, okay, this is the whole birdhouse cage thing and we also have two perches look bella's swinging bella's on the swing yeah since it's been one week they're used to their new habitat because at first when they came into our house 
Um, they were actually very scared. They were sitting on one perch and they weren't doing anything. They were shaking. They were shaking a lot, yeah. And, okay, let me show you. So, you're wondering what this cuddle bone is, right? This cuddle bone is actually for the birds to sharpen their beak. And that's... That. That's where there's some bites over there. If you can see properly on the edge. And there's you can see there's a lot of bird poop. We have to clean that daily. So, just to, on the bottom here... Oh my gosh, Bella! On the bottom here, we have this tiny thing. I'm not going to open it fully, but uh, we put a newspaper in here with some tape sticking to the side. So when they poop and when they drop seeds and stuff, um, it doesn't just fall on the table or the ground or wherever you keep it. It falls on the newspaper and then we can take it out, put a new one in and no mess actually. And uh, don't force your birds to get a bath, okay? The first few days, don't let them like take a bath because they're pretty scared they don't know what to do they might do something really silly yeah because when we first put them like a bath, bath thing they were like discussing if they should go or not go <laughs> that's what my sister thinks and whoa 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 it flies so i just pooped yeah we made this uh rope and yeah we actually bought this and then we redid it and we hung it up here this is a swing, that's a ladder, I've told you before. And you have to have a lot of toys so that they can play and they're, they don't get bored with themselves. Actually, Bella, um, she loves swinging on the swing. It's so fun for her. We yeah. got two parakeets. These are parakeets, if I didn't tell you. They're also called budgies. Um, well, you should get, I recommend that you both, that you should get two budgies slash uh, parakeets. Then they want to be alone. Yeah, and you would have to buy a mirror if there were, if you got one parakeet, because then it would just talk to itself. Here, they don't, they don't need a mirror, because they talk to each other, they keep themselves entertained. So when, uh, when you want to tame your animal, what, many people ask this, um, when do I tame my animal? You have to, you're a parakeet, oh, uh, when you tame your animal, it has to be at least two weeks into your home. They have to be at least uh, recognized to you and your um, household and the habitat around it so that it doesn't get scared. First, um, take their favorite treat. This is millet spray. Hold it in your hand and then put your finger in, okay? We haven't tried this yet, but we, we, we actually have once or twice. But start, start this taming after two weeks. And I recommend that you guys keep this in a very sunny place. This will make them very happy. But don't keep them uh, very close to a window. We, we kept them next to a window. But we uh, close the shutters. We close the blinds when it, when it turns off. Because they can, like, die if... Uh, like sun, sun comes into their uh, like body. Like if it heat, if the sun rays that come onto their body, that can really uh, instantly kill a budgie, and that's not a good sign and not a good thing. So we've done this. By the way, don't forget to clip their wings um, because if they fly too much in the cage, that's kind of bad. But you should clip their wings when they're used to you. Like, that's what we're going to do. Um, and uh, what, how you clip your wings is basically like... Yeah. yeah. So, wait. We'll sh um, t show you in the future how to clip the wings. We'll make that, a vi we'll make that as a video, too. Uh, basically, you just cut um, the ends of the uh, parakeet's wings. And it's not going to do any harm. You just have to do it the correct way. We'll show you in a later video, okay? Whoa. Oh, it went into the bath. Okay, now we're just going to show you what the birds are doing.
Okay, so that's the end of our video. Uh, guys, I hope you guys liked the video. And this was like a basics to pet care for the pets that we had. And so I hope you guys learned from it and liked it. So leave a like, a subscribe, don't forget to hit the bell button. Share this with your friends and we'll see you in another video, okay? Bye! Bye.